everyone. This is Kim from Affordably Crafty and today I have a Dollar Tree haul that has some brand new yarn that I've never seen at the Dollar Tree before um, and they're both brand name um, lines so that's pretty awesome. Um, so hi if you're new here welcome and if you're a subscriber welcome back. Um, thanks to all my new subscribers and this channel is about stretching your craft dollar and learning how to be affordably crafty. I dabble in all areas of the craft universe. Um, I do hand dyeing, I do crocheting, I do DIYs, hauls, walkthroughs, um, and just lots of different things. Um, there's a variety on this channel. Um, so yeah, this is my most recent Dollar Tree haul. I went to one of the 12,000 square foot plus Dollar Trees. Now if your Dollar Tree is 12,000 square foot plus, you should have for the past year now had a crafter square. So I've had some comments on other videos about how to find um, one of the Dollar Trees that has the big crafter square section. Um, so you can see more of that in the walkthrough I posted earlier this week um, about how they have almost two sides of an aisle, a very long aisle, um, of crafting supplies. And then there's another aisle that just has floral supplies. Um, so yeah, and then there's some end caps also. Um, so you can watch that. I'll post the video down below in the description box. Um, <clears throat> so let me know in the comments if you guys have seen any of this yarn before. And I need help with one of them because I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing that I got that I was looking for was I've been looking for these dowel rods for a little while. So you get ten for a dollar. And they are that big. And there's a measurement on here. So this is a quarter inch by twelve inches. Or, so I have a yarn hack, a yarn DIY that I'm going to be doing with these that I'll be putting together and uploading probably later this week. Um, so I'm happy that I finally found these because I wasn't going to pay for a big, huge, long one that then I had to cut and eh, I'll just get to the Dollar Tree. Then I also got these magnetic hooks by Jot that I have not seen before. And let me tell you, these are super sturdy. They really have a strong magnet on them. I know sometimes some of the magnetic stuff at the Dollar Tree can be a little loosey-goosey when you put it on something, but these are really nice. So I grabbed a few packages of these um, to use in my dye kitchen. Um, so I was very happy with this. Now, I also was looking for a large canvas like this to do a um, DIY art project for Father's Day and I finally found one because the employee was stocking it while I was standing there. So that was helpful because a lot of these um, canvas things have been sold out most times I go to the Dollar Tree. So this one is a one pack and it is not one that has the wood on the back. Um, so this is 11 by 14 inches. So that's awesome. I'm super happy to get this started because it has to have time to dry before I do the second step on it. Okay, now on to... Oh no, hold on. I got one other thing. Um, I got a mop. Um, this is the one that the handle is attached to. They have the black ones now that you're going to pay a dollar for this and a dollar for this. But this is just the old kind they've had for a while that is a dollar for the whole thing assembled. So I'm going to be doing a DIY wall hanging with this, which I will be uploading and doing shortly. Um, so I'm super excited about that. On to the yarn. So there was two kinds that I've never seen here before. So the first one is, and let me know if you guys have seen this before. It's by Lion Brand, and it's called LKYC, I on London. And then on the top it says... London K. I don't know if that's this person here. I haven't really researched it yet. Um, but I got it in white. Well, the color is Snowflake. And this is... Oh, where's the... Oh, there it is. So it's 1.4 ounces or 40 grams, and it's 20 yards or 18 meters, and it's 100% acrylic, and it is a 6 super bulky. And I agree with that because, look, this kind of reminds me of that yarn that I use in the 80s to tie a bow in my hair. I don't know if anybody like, you know, my 80s kids, what's up? That totally looks like the stuff that I used to tie a bow in my hair with in the 80s. You know what I'm talking about? 
So <clears throat> this is 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. So I grabbed, again, this is a situation where the person was in the aisle stocking this when I walked by. That's probably the only reason I scored this stuff. So I grabbed all three of the snowflake that they had. Somebody else got one of the whites in front of me. Bummer. I am going to be dyeing this with um, the Dye More Synthetic when I try that. So I'm going to give this a try. And then, oh my god, the colors. So again, if you see the walkthrough, you're going to be amazed with the amount of colors. I didn't grab all the colors. I just grabbed the colors for the specific two projects I'm going to work on. Sorry, there was a crayon emergency. So, I was saying, the colors this comes in is amazing. So I just got what I needed for the two projects I'm going to be doing for my daughter's room. Um, she's very into unicorns and rainbows, so you're going to understand why I was like, ah, when I saw this. So the first color is, and some of these names are amazing, Stop Sign. And again, this is all the same um, size and um, information as this white one, so I'm not going to read that every time. Stop Sign. Oh my god, this is so blown out. It's not even funny on this. It is like this really bright, like red. Oh. So that's stop sign. And then the next one is highlighter, which is true because it's a highlighter orange. You see that? And again, this totally reminds me of the stuff I used to put in my hair in the 80s. Like, isn't that so? 80s kids, what's up? You know what I'm talking about, right? Then the next one is Sunshine, and this very bright, <laughs> totally blown out yellow. Isn't that awesome? You see a trend here? Then there's Alien, which is this like, these are pretty much like three highlighter colors, right? Like, it's a highlighter pack. <laughs> and this green color, isn't that cool? And then we have, what is this one called? True Blue. A cool blue color. Then Velvet, which that doesn't really make any sense to me, but whatever. So that's the velvet color. And then Orchid. So my daughter's going to be super excited I'm making a rainbow project, and she's going to be super duper excited because she always complains when we do something with rainbows that we don't have indigo. So I figured that was a good indigo-violet-ish comparison. Now I know this isn't exactly indigo, but hey, it's a good sub. So I'm going to put all these colors together so you can see the awesomeness that this is and how excited I am about this project. How amazing is that? I cannot believe I got those at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so, for those of you not from America, the Dollar Tree is a store that everything is a dollar. It's not like five below where stuff is five dollars or less. This is a dollar each. So, isn't that awesome? So, comment down below if you've seen this at your local Dollar Tree before. This LKYC Ion London. Or if you've seen this in the regular craft store. How much were these? Just wondering. Then they had some new Premier stuff. So they only had it in one color. I grabbed three just to try it because I'm not really sure what to do with it because it's kind of a weird one, but I couldn't pass it up. So let me know if you have seen this in a regular store, how much it was, and also what you did with it. Pardon my daughter. Um, that is Premier Home Raffia. So this looks like this. It's a nice blue colorway. This is the only color that they had, and again, the lady, the person was stocking it while I was standing there. I got very friendly with this person. You know, get friendly with your local employees. I'm like, hey, do you have any other yarn on that cart? Because I would love to look at it and buy some. She was super helpful. Um, so this is, I mean, it's like... It feels like paper, but it's not. So, oops. Oh, I found the end. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's like a really thin strip. So this is 100%... Oh, hold on. 100% cellulose rayon. 87 yards or 80 meters. 
35 grams or 1.23 ounces. And it is a four weight. Uses a five millimeter hook or 5.5 millimeter knitting needles. Hand wash dry flat. Made in Turkey. And this is the color Tempest. So again, I got three of these just because it came in, it was three in a bag. Now it's three, it's one, one each one was a dollar, but I was like, well, I'll just grab three since they're in this bag. Again, she was stocking it when I was standing there. So if you have used this raffia stuff before, please let me know what you used it for. So I did look on Ravelry and a lot of the patterns on there had to do with hats and bags and some like home items. Let me know if you've used this stuff before, what you've used it for, and how it worked up, because I haven't used this before. This should be interesting. So again, another Premier product at Dollar Tree. And then, oop, when I read this, I forgot to read about the hook and needles. Let's see if it's on here. Ooh, doesn't say. So this doesn't say what the suggested hook size or needle size is, and I did open some of these already for the DIY I'm doing, and there's nothing on the inside of the band. So... That is my recent Dollar Tree haul. Um, one more note, people have been asking about how to find which store has a Crafter Square. So if you go on the Dollar Tree website and you look on the tab that says, so it's dollartree.com, and this is not sponsored by Dollar Tree. I bought all the stuff myself. Um, I'm just in love with the Dollar Tree. Um, so if you go on dollartree.com and you look up locations, and there's going to be a drop-down menu once you go to the locations page that has little boxes that you can check off for, like amenities or whatever it's called. One of those is Crafter Square. So if you put in your zip code and you check off Crafter Square, that's going to show you the closest Dollar Trees that have a Crafter Square area. So those are the ones, I believe, still on there that are over 12,000 square feet. Now, other smaller stores, like there's a smaller one really close to my house, they've gotten some of the Crafter Square items, but not the plethora that these other stores have that are bigger. Um, and these are also the stores that you're most likely to find yarn in. So if you're in it for the yarn, go to the Crafter Square location if there's one near you. I have two near me. One is about a half an hour from my house, and the other one's about 20 minutes. So not a bad variety. Um, and there are other smaller Dollar Trees near me as well. Um, so let me know again if you've seen either of these yarns there before and what to do with this raffia stuff. If you have any input in the comment box down below. Um, and then... I am also going to be posting shortly um, some finds on DollarTree.com that I've ran into recently. So again, if you like to learn how to stretch your craft dollar and be more affordably cra crafty, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so, you, bell so you don't miss out on my deals that I post, and share if you're so inclined. So everybody have an awesome day. Bye!